Mm. Welcome back to the Compound Podcast. This is episode 89. Nine. Nice. Good job. You did it. And it's presented by Parse Rum, the best rum in the world, the most incredible Parse Rum. Dakota, do you have some Parse Rum in your disgusting eggnog? Uh, I'm actually just drinking the eggnog straight right now. It's only uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. I don't start drinking yet, usually. Um, There's a lot of shit. I I do need to try that combo. That sounds like it'd be delicious. There's a lot of shit that was said on this episode in the last 30 seconds before we started, and I'd just like to do a quick little recap. One of those is that I'm playing hurt. Okay? I have my wisdom teeth out on Friday. I'm grinding right now. I can barely talk. I can barely open my mouth. I mean... I'm a trooper, but Dakota's drinking disgusting eggnog, which is like a drink that who who actually drinks that? That's a, I thought it was a folklore thing. I thought it was a myth. Comes with me. Let's go. Just needed one. All it takes is one. That's disgusting. Eggnog's great. I don't understand this eggnog hate. I'm not, I'm not about it. I oh, I live for it. What are you, a little baby drinking fucking milk? It's disgusting. Two things. One. Eggnog is delicious. I sit all year and wait for it to come out so I can buy it and drink it nonstop. It's horrible for you. So bad for you. So much sugar, so much fat. Delicious, though. I don't care. Two, Zach, you said you haven't had your wisdom teeth out, right? No. Ian, I'm going to be honest with you. It's been three days. I don't remember feeling a thing three days after. So I need you to maybe just toughen up a little bit. What, are you, what were you doing three days after I was eating potato chips? Just putting. I, was, I mean, there's holes in my mouth right oh, now. I mean, you, what do you mean? You I can't, can't fucking eat, eat. Oh, no. I mean, you eat ramen noodles. That's fine. I'm on an all liquid diet right now. Yeah. Applesauce, ramen can't noodles. Can't open my mouth enough. Can't Looks like you need some eggnog. Ooh, eggnog will fill you right up. It's good, too. Nutritious. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Is anybody getting parse rum for Christmas as Christmas gifts for people? Because that's a great Christmas gift. I did have my uncle text me and ask me where he could buy it. And I don't know. It's bad of me, but I don't know. Binnies. Buy it in Michigan. We don't have Benny's in Michigan. Go to um, parsayrum.com. That's two. But I said I would bring some to the Christmas party. And he was excited about that. So looking forward nice. to bringing it to my family Christmas party nice. and letting everybody uh, try it a little bit. Yeah, if you go to parsayrum.com, you can look up where there's uh, dealers around you. And if you're in Chicagoland, go to Benny's. Uh, also, Connect Roasters just dropped today. their gift boxes for the holidays. So little sampler gift boxes, little little three bags in a gift box. Kind of a hot Christmas gift right there. Connectroasters.com. Uh, then Zach was talking about uh, he wants to leave already. I haven't even started the episode. Zach's trying to run away. So... That's fucking bullshit. That's not you, true. You know, we were just no, 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 no. No, him, true. not you, him. That, what? What did I do? I said you're in a mood today. I'm not in a mood. I'm in a great mood. I don't know. You haven't talked much since this episode started. It's unlike you. Because you guys were rambling on eggnog. I don't love eggnog. I don't have my wisdom teeth taken out. My golf clubs came in, but they're not here. They're at my house house. I got a lot of shit on my mind. Oh my god. This is a nice place that your 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 background for your video here. You got some yeah. nice some wood cladding all over the place. It's nice. It's, it's a nice it's house. A, it's a beach house. It's a beach house. Oops. Kind of, kind of a big Whoops. deal. Yeah. Sorry about it. Down in Florida, right on the beach. Me and you, I'm awesome. Me and Zach are sharing a room for Duncan Robinson's wedding. That's in January, so that's going to be a fun time that we'll yeah. have some sort of from. Uh, Zach, why are you in Florida? I'm just kidding. I'm he on a in beach house in Connecticut. And it's snowing probably. He's in a beach house. And it's well, it, was, it was actually 55 degrees today. How? It's snowing in Michigan. You, I don't know if you know, but Michigan and like Connecticut aren't. The, they're not, the, they're not the same place. Yeah, but they're not the same. It's Connecticut. Yeah, yeah but they're not the same place. Fuck off. It's the same thing. It's uh, 75 in Austin today. It's going to be 86 nice. and on look what, And look what you're doing. You're sitting on a microphone with, with chipmunk cheeks. You can't even enjoy it. It's a good point. It's been sad for me. Golf course is closed this Monday. Ian, how far are you from Houston? What? Ian, how far are you from Houston? Three hours. Ah, fuck. No chance. I'm not seeing him. Are you kidding me? I was going to say, it was like 15 minutes. Like we, could, we could hang out, but no, nah, not three hours. We get, hey, we get enough of them. That's true. Is that for Duncan's uh, wedding? Wedding. Wedding. January. 
did he get married exactly. already and then did he get married and said? then he uh is getting married again or didn't you guys already do like a best man thing what? for him or whatever <laughs> I hope he uh is, he's our age, so no, he's not going on his second marriage. Wait no, till no, he no. hears that one. one. That's that's a low blow. No, I was saying I was saying the uh you know the COVID wedding where like you get married once and then you have another wedding, but it's the same wedding twice. Listen, 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 listen. Are you about Efros's listen. wedding that we went to um, Yes, the- I was thinking about Efros's wedding. Listen, the okay. Robinsons okay. have some money. I don't think they have enough money to do two weddings. I a lot of people are doing two weddings these days. They're doing like a small wedding and then like a, another wedding. Did uh? I did, think didn't you guys go to Houston maybe last off season? Nope, never been I, to Houston. I no. went. I went like three years ago. Zach went. You would have. You would have never even heard about this though. Yep. No. Yeah. No. No. Well, you guys went to Houston one time when I was one time. Yep. I think mm-hmm. I played in Houston in summer ball one time in college. Oh. maybe. I was playing 2K and we played against the Rockets. <laughs> the Astros were in the World Series. They're yeah. from Houston. Yeah. yeah. There it is. When you guys Tom. when you guys make a shit joke that's not funny, but Tom laughs at it, I get real pissed. <laughs> me, you guys trying to tell us that we've went somewhere when we haven't gone anywhere. You guys definitely had been to Houston or were supposed to go to Houston at some point. I don't think so. But that, listen, going. that's not what this I mean, episode's about. Going. Okay, this episode's not about when you guys went to Houston and didn't tell me that you were going to Houston. Okay, it's about something else. What's happened last week? A lot of shit. A lot of shit. Baseball's locked out. Okay, oh, yeah. players aren't allowed to play. We signed Marcus Stroman right before the deadline. Fake deadline that was created, but deadline. That's Whoa. exciting. It's exciting. Ian, stuff. What, Ian, what was that? What? Yeah, Stroman, huge signing, really exciting. Jan Gomes, Clint Frazier, uh, welcome to the squad. Welcome to the Cubbies. Great stuff. Tigers, Tiger signed Javi. Tiger signed Javi. Yes, big one. Zach's gonna be best buds with. Him. Yep. Are you gonna ask him if you do? You think he remembers you, Zach? I uh, I would say so. Just be based off my last name. I think it's unique enough for because he would call me Shorty. If you know, it's, you don't really call many people shorty. I was, uh, I was thinking about his cleat collection, what that's going to look like him being able to use orange. It's going to be nice. I mean, he used it. He used it the yep. second half of the year. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm excited, obviously, to watch him in games, but like his BP is must, must see BP. <laughs> must see. He, like, when, when we were played in Detroit last year, he actually. He actually uh, made it his mission to try to hit the cars in center, and he actually got it up there. Yeah, which, again, 420 feet is far. But the cars are like, you know, four feet. Yeah, that's on top of the batter's eye. Yeah, it's far. Ugh. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was in Dallas. Cubby's for going the, for uh, it. What? The Cubby's going for it. Maybe. Oh, did you say Clint Frazier too? Outfield mate. Yeah, he did. Clint Frazier. Yeah, uh, I think that I think that's a signal move from the Cubbies that says if you don't just make one of those moves, right? You don't just go get one dude. You, like you don't pay that much to Marcus Stroman and then just be like, all right, like now now we're good. It's like you, yeah. you got to go do other moves, right? You got to think there's that means Story still, Correa still out there. I'm sure a lot of other There's a couple guys still out there plus you have plus you have trade options whether it's a trade before the season or mid-season depending on where you're at i think there's like i don't think they're done that's i don't think so i don't think they're done what what do you think they need though outfielders i should say they we we us what do we need Probably still some bullpen arms because what? What the fuck are you, dude? I'm out. Zach, you ready to go? I'm out, dude. I've been trying to get out of here for the last twenty minutes, dude. What the hell is he talking about? We need bullpen arms. No, we don't. See, and you Sick wonder why I, you you wonder why I wanted to get out. I knew what kind of statement and energy he was bringing today. Look at you him. know what I think we need. I think we need a switch hitting center fielder. That's what I think yep. we need. We need one of those. a single single digit number too. Yep. Hmm. 
Switch hitting. Maybe from Cincy. I don't know. Maybe he went to Cincy. Maybe he was maybe. drafted as an infielder. Hey, I shout think out to, so. He shows he's versatile. Shout out to Cincy. Shout out to Cincy. College football hey. playoff. First non-power five team college football playoff. That's a big deal. The fact that Ian's going to claim Cincy after they're not speaking a word about him the last six years since he was drafted. Zach's hands raised. Go ahead, Zach. Did you go to the game? To the game. No, I have my wisdom teeth out. Right. So you did a really good job selling it like you went on your Instagram. That looked like you took that picture. Sick. No, that's not sick. That's false advertising because I was really impressed. I would have. I honestly, I think I would have gone. Yeah, me but too. I, I already have. I already have everything booked to go to the January or the December 31st game. I will be there yep. against. Yeah. yeah. You're going to go to that game. Mm hmm. Why would you want to go to the bloodbath? Absolute, I mean, you're going to go to a baptism. <laughs> they're, I mean, they're going to get absolutely murdered. Ian, I think Ian. minus 13 and a half is the most generous line I've ever seen. I think Bama wins by five touchdowns. They're, I, I could be wrong, but I think Bama shits on them. They, that line is that line, so people pay attention to that game. And I'm not, I, and I'm not trying to talk shit on your team. And I'm just saying that's just how much better Bama is than Cincy. Like that's actually Bama. Like if they if they keep it close, I'll be very surprised. Georgia was averaging seven points a game given up. Bryce Six Young points. said, Bryce Young said, "Here, I don't care what that is. I'm going to throw here. I'm going to throw it there. I'm going to throw it there." Do you you think he's just salivating over an America Conference team? Question: Who did Bama lose to? Texas A&M. A &M. Texas A&M. A &M. A &M. Okay. They lost to A&M and then Auburn the week before, a couple of overtimes. They, they were scoreless for 59 minutes against Auburn. Let's calm down a little bit. It's possible. It's possible. It's a big game. It's like Belichick. I mean, you don't count Nicky Saban out. And the thing is, you can wash all that away because you could have said that going into the Georgia game. Like, Georgia's the most talented team in the country. They are definitely a better team than Bama this year, talent-wise. Like, and they just beat the shit out of them. Like, that's you, exactly what Zach said. Like, Nick Saban late in the year, like, no thanks. I don't want to face him. Would you want to go is, into Foxborough in January? Absolutely this is, not. This is my point. Okay. Stop comparing professional problem. athletics to college athletics. Matt, this is, is Matt, this Matt, is my, this is my point. My point is Alabama against Georgia. Alabama got super fired up to play a Georgia team that was considered better and they brought their A game. My thing is there's a chance that they let off the gas just like they did against Auburn, just like they did against AM. They let off the gas since he sneaks in there, punches him in the mouth. I believe in my team. Yeah. Dakota, please. Zach, call me. Dakota, please. Another thing to think about with that Georgia Bama game for why I still think Georgia's better than Bama and I still think Georgia's going to win it all. I think Georgia also takes a shit on Michigan more. Just kind of hope so. I don't know. It could be a good game. Georgia had nothing no, to that, lose. That is, a not, that is not a biased statement. No, it's not biased at all. I, I Not at all. I love Michigan. <laughs> um, Georgia also had nothing to lose in that game. So I think, and I'm not, and obviously it's the pride of beating Alabama. Like that's the team you need to beat for an SEC championship. But it's like, if I'm Kirby Smart, am I throwing caution to the wind against Bama when I'm probably going to play him again in the playoff? Probably not. Like once he fell behind, it's like, you're not really doing anything too crazy to show your hand when you got to play him again. Also, that receiver but, on Bama, Williams, is there a faster human on the planet? No. Do you think anybody is faster on the entire planet than that? I don't think so. Zach, yes, hand raise, go. Okay, but back to the uh, Kirby Smart thing. Would you think he would rather play Michigan or Cincinnati? No, I no, no, no. I'm not saying so, like all, you're down. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like. I don't want to play who I, I would, yeah. you know, like, but I'm not at all saying they didn't try to win. I'm saying maybe they held a couple things back once they fell behind and it was like, all right, like, we well, hey, to get crazy here. So we're did, so did Nick Saban off. when they were up by 70 or mate. What'd you say? I said, I, I bet you Nick Saban held some things back too when they were up, when they were running the score up. Yeah, but they also lost Mechie that game. Their receiver that sucked. That lost. sucks. That does suck. Side. But I still ah. – and the thing is, since he ended up winning handedly, 
that was a one point game at halftime too against Houston. Yes. Yes. It's another yes. I'm like, Did- you gotta just go wipe the floor with them. Yes, they won the game. Ian Hanfrey's go ahead. I know that's what you're gonna say. Houston had uh, Houston was a one loss team coming in there. They won eleven games in a row coming in, and since he in the third quarter just dominated. Took Where the, was the came out of hey, halftime? But took guess the game. what? You they did. They absolutely did. I'll give you that. They absolutely did. And wait, but guess can what? I say something else? Can I say something else? This you only raise your thing? hand. You only raise your hand once. You have to do it again. <laughs> yes. Yep. Speak Ian. Speak. Uh, I didn't talk about Cincy all year because I didn't want to jinx him. I. <laughs> Early in the year, early, I, I swear, this is, this is genuine. This is genuine. I watched every one of the games. I do follow the team, and I didn't, I didn't want to talk about them and get all pumped and jinx them, so I didn't, I didn't tweet about it. I didn't talk about it, and I'm very excited for the Bearcats. You know what breaks you, my heart? If you choose not to believe that, you could choose not to believe it. What breaks my heart is that Ian was going to pay, and we agreed on this on this podcast, that if <laughs> they paid the Spartans, he was going to have to pay for my ticket to the game. Spartans fell short, but they still got a New Year's Six Bowl against uh, Pittsburgh. So I'm excited about that. Zach, yes, your hand was raised. Back to the Cincinnati game. Guess what? If you don't come out and play the first two quarters and you're up by one at halftime, Uh you do that next game, they might just have a ticking clock for the rest of the game. You you got to come out. If you're Cincy, you got to come out. Like your first 15 plays that you draw up, it's got to be three touchdowns are in those 15 plays. Yeah, dude. You can't can't do that. I, I don't care. You can't. And I hope they keep it close. I do because I want it to be a good game. Right. Although, oops, weird brag. I'll be on a cruise, so I probably won't even be watching it. Whoops. But um, I, I do think Bama – I think we got a Bama-Georgia rematch in the natty. I hope I, so. Uh, I would like to say real quick, this whole December 31st bowl game thing. That's it's weird. It's, travel is so expensive. Like, what a terrible time to be asking people to fly across the country to go watch a football game. Because I was looking at it to, because it's easy for me. I was actually so happy they were in Dallas because now I can just drive up, uh, and it's super easy. But like people that were wanting, wanting to fly down from Cincinnati or you know Ohio or wherever, like it's so fucking expensive to travel right before the holidays. Why don't you? Why don't you fund some people's trips? You think I'm not? I'm not sitting on my wallet. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, I don't. I don't. F- I don't believe that your mom is probably like a big Cincy fan. So I don't know who else your brother lives in Texas. I don't know who else you'd be funding down there. Why don't you get some students there who, who are in some debt? Sally, Why don't you pay Sally for the Bunkers. students? Sally Bunkers ain't a Cincy fan. Nope. Sally Bunks. Sally Bunks is actually coming down this week. That's really <laughs> weird. Dakota. Did Zach, you... Hey, I know Zach, my right now. All right. He's on an ARB deal. I understand. You can't really afford to be buying tickets right now, and you don't know. I he agree. doesn't know when the next paycheck's coming. I hey man, I get it. I hear you. Would you guys like to talk about something that isn't football? I love talking football, but yes, I would. Go Jordan Love. It's my new favorite team. As long as they beat me. Did the do the Lions win this week? Oh whoops, oops! Lions are hot. The Lions They're might be the best one win team in the history of football. At this point in the season. That's a weird thing to say. That's one win team. After playing 12 games, they're the best one win team in the history of football. So, so of all teams that were one and 11 or one, 10 and one as the Lions are. Wait, the best one team. didn't you yes, just I say, think. can we talk about something that's not football? And then you brought and up the Lions. I'm on pain meds, man. What do you want from me? Jesus. You should have taken the pain med- Ugh, Toughen up, dude. Can we talk about the CBA? Yes. I mean, you Pretty know cool. 10 times more than anybody else. Pretty cool what uh, all the players did after MLB took away our pictures off the website, which was just kind of a weird move in general. But – Pretty cool for the players to all go blank face on the on the profile picks, and then it was cool for fans to like do that too and jump in line. Stop with the eggnog; it's so gross. Jesus, oh, it's so good though; it just fuels you. Um, yeah, but pretty cool. But there was there was just some things in the aftermath of uh, the first that were just nuts, like the you know the both sides tell the story of what happened and then it's just so inaccurate and it's crazy. And like, I think 
players will start to come out and talk more about it and both sides will start to talk about it. But there was, as far as like economic proposals, the one thing that was just crazy is that there was not one economic proposal from MLB when we were in Dallas. There wasn't one economic proposal made on paper from MLB. And so when you hear, you know, they get the letters and whatever, and they stand up and they say, we made all these proposals on all these things. It's just not true. It's just false because they didn't make a proposal on the economics of the game the whole time we were in Dallas. Not one proposal was handed across the table. And we said, make us a proposal. You don't like our proposal? Make us a proposal. We'd love to see it. We'd love to look at it. We'd love to talk about it. Not one proposal was made while we were there, which is on the economics, which is crazy. Was that reported? I don't know. Maybe this is breaking news, but it's uh, just potentially breaking news on the potential, compound. Potentially, potentially. it's just fucking crazy. Because just remember, everybody, he's not you know, paying meds. He may not be telling the truth right now. We don't know. <laughs> yep. You just you just want fans to have the truth, and the whole point of this thing about this CBA is to make the game more competitive. And I think that's like the the thing that you don't want to get misconstrued is that it's not player saying you know guys need to be paid ex- exorbitantly more guys want more money this what is a bullshit. word it's thank you that was a really good word it's it's about making the game more competitive and making sure that more teams across the board are competing because the fans are sick and tired of watching 10 to 15 teams a year not try and then you know 15 to 20 teams sell at the deadline uh it's fucking bullshit. You don't, nobody wants the playoffs to be decided, you know, July 31st. And every fan base deserves a team that's going to go and try to win every year. So some of the proposals on like the draft and on enhancing competitiveness were pretty good, pretty interesting. Which you can kind of get behind because no owner wants to have their team suck anyway, which I, you would like to think. You would like to think. Right, which I'm assuming that most of them have good faith when it comes to that because, you know, they're still going to make their money when they're 162 games and they play 81 at home. You're still going to make the money whether they win or don't. But obviously when you win, a lot more comes with that. So if there's more chances to win and build a winning product, like you said, I think the game just becomes better in general, which is obvious. Yeah, there was some there were some pretty interesting ones about like how, uh, how to enhance – the competitiveness through the draft. Like if you're a small market team and you make the playoffs, you get a comp pick. I thought that was a cool one. That like, is cool. Yeah. How cool would it be if you're, you know, fighting game 162 for that like last wild card spot and you're a small market team like the Pirates or I think Detroit's probably small market, right? I don't think so, to be honest. I don't think so. But my what, thing though with the draft, like, like trying to trying to get it through the draft is that the draft in baseball isn't like the NFL or NBA where it's somebody can come in right away and impact the team. It's like, Hey, if we're lucky three years down the road, he debuts or Hey, if we're lucky, we really get our return on investment six or seven years down the road. If, if a guy's out of high school, you know, where it's tough, you could have a complete flip of a team if that's the case. And is one Draft pick, you know, it, the draft is really weird to me. I, I don't know. But isn't it crazy, like how, even though that there isn't like that immediate impact, how and you can't trade draft picks, and there's that immediate impact. There's not that immediate impact, but how much teams value their draft picks? Right. It's kind of nuts. Yeah. No, I I totally agree. Um, I don't know it. <sighs> I don't know. The other thing that's crazy is like there didn't have to be a lockout. Yeah. That's like, oh, you know, we had to do this. Didn't have to do it. There's no need to lock us out. It's unnecessary. I don't know what the timeline is. So, you know, hopefully both sides can get back talking to each other and start negotiating again. By the way, when we posted like the new thing for our, like the compound thing and all our faces were gray, I don't need the responses of, well, technically, you don't have to black out Dakotas. He wasn't on the fort. Like, no shit. Okay? We know that. That is rude. Uh, that, that's rude. Responded. There was like eight of them. And I'm like, no shit. Like, just relax. Okay? We know. That's rude. It that was rude. I was like, that's 
okay. Someone, but- someone did, re- Dakota, someone did reply on your behalf and say it was for unity. You, you know, it would be, it would be very weird. If you have, if you just your face was on it, you got to, you know, you're supporting the cause. Well, and that's why, that's why when people respond to that, I'm like, okay, chill out. Like, yeah, we're just going to leave my face in there. And those two are gray because I didn't play in the big leagues. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, the other thing is like some people, all, all, all players, it doesn't matter if you're on the 40 man or not on the 40 man. It does a little bit because of representation, but like, all players are unified in this. So like there's no players that aren't on the 40 man that are like, this is fucking stupid. Like all players across the board are unified in this because once, you know, once guys get onto the 40 man and are represented under the union, like they're completely in lockstep with what we're trying to do because they know it's the right thing for players long-term and for the competitive competitiveness of the game long-term, um, you know, making sure that there isn't, the service time manipulation that guys are getting the chances they should. And like, that's kind of the biggest fight that players have is, is trying to protect the coming generations. Sure. I, uh, I agree. And I stand with you guys, even if I'm not on the 40 man. Okay. Hey, thanks Dakota. You're welcome. Changing gears, changing gears. Uh, Zach wants to talk about Spotify. What is this Spotify thing called? Oh my god, this is not good. Spotify wrapped. Spotify wrapped. Yep. Wrapped. Mm-hmm. Your year and wrapped. It tells you all the things that you did for Spotify for the whole year. But this Spotify wrapped is brought to you by no free ads for Spotify. It's brought to you by dugout mugs. Hashtag dugout mugs. Hashtag what was the what was it? Wish fest? Hashtag dugout mugs. Wish fest with an uh, this Friday. Code code. I actually saw a lot of people uh talking about that on the Twitter, but Regardless, use code John Boy dugoutmugs.com to get 30% off. 30% off that's a pretty big deal. Uh, John Boy's got you hooked up there with the 30% off deal before uh, before the holiday season. You guys have anything to add about dugout mugs? Because I can say more about them. I showed I you, hey, I showed you my, I showed you mine. I proved that I had it. Where is it, Zach? Zach, where is it? It's at my parents' house. I gave it to them. I gave it to you for the ad read. We're in the ad read. You're supposed to be holding it up right now. Did you know that it there's would a... Be, it right here. <laughs> Did you know that there's a, uh, a metal dugout mug? I don't know how they do that. I have no idea, but they use a metal bat and they have a metal dugout mug. I did not know would, that. Would you rather have a wood or a metal dugout mug? Who cares? You can get both and they're both 30% off. Code John Boy. Dugoutmugs.com. Code John Boy. 18,000 five-star reviews. That's a fuck ton of five-star reviews. That is a lot of five-star I wish reviews. we had that many on this podcast. Actually, why don't you go rate our podcast? Why don't you go do it five stars and then go to dugoutmugs.com, 30% off code John Boy. Get yourself a metal and a wood dugout mug. Hashtag dugout mugs, hashtag wish facts. You know how many five-star reviews we have in the last month? We've only got two. What the we hell? need people to five-star review. I mean, we're putting out five-star content. So people better clean it the fuck up and go do some reviews this is ridiculous i agree but not as aggressively let's talk about let's talk about spotify you don't even know what it is you're not interested you don't like it brought to you by dugout mugs how do you do this i mean zach Ian, we've been talking about this for five days now you had five days to do it you haven't moved off the couch i've been loopy man you literally okay ready oh go to spotify Okay, I'm on it. I got my wrapped. What do you want me to tell you? Go towards the end where it says your top listen. Your, it's, it'll say who you listen to. I want to know Ian's auras. I want to know what his auras oh my, What is? Based off of Ian's favorite movies, how weird do you think this is going to be, Dakota? Um, okay, I what, mean, I what do you want? Do you want my top five artists? My top five yes, songs? Yes, I want your top five. I want your top five artists. Okay, do you want me to go first? You go first. Do you want me to go first? Yes. <laughs> what is it, opposite day? you want me to go first, you go first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Chill out. I will. Uh, my top five artists are Russ, Drake, Olivia Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, and Adele. <laughs> Fucking right. And I feel pretty good that's, about that, honestly. What? I think that's, that's a pretty... better than I thought of. That That's a pretty accurate better. representation of the music that I listen to. That's way yeah, you better. Think they did, you think they just made it up? There could have been a Fletcher on there, though. I like Fletcher. 
She's I don't know who that is, honestly. Oh, uh, do you guys want to give your top five artists? Uh, three of my yes. top five songs are Olivia Rodrigo songs. I got really into Olivia Rodrigo. Middle of the top year. five songs. Go go to like the last one. It'll tell you your minutes listened to as well. I want to hear that as well. Uh, twenty eight thousand minutes listened. Okay, to. top songs, please. Uh, good for you, uh, which is Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> Deja vu, which is Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, matches, which is one of my walkouts. Together, <laughs> which I think is Sia. And then a driver's license, which I also believe is Olivia Rodrigo. Those are all great I want songs. The picture Ian in his car jamming out to those songs. The singing. Fuck not. Yeah. Well, most of, see, the thing about Olivia Rodrigo, that album, it was very sad. I was also very sad for a lot of the time in the middle of the year there. So it was more depressing music on the way home from the field. Uh, we were really relating on a lot of levels there with the. Wow. Uh, well, you go for four, it really feels like you went through a breakup like a Re- Olivia Rodrigo did. Hey, what? I got broken up with a lot this year, if that's the case. That's what I'm saying. You got you to gotta hit some of those sad jams. I think Rizzo would be very proud of that list because we listened. We had uh, sad Sundays. And we listened to just some very sad music very loudly. What the fuck? Uh, would you was, guys want to yeah, go? I mean, fuck. That, was, that was better than I could have expected. I'm not giving my songs. I'll give you my, my artist. I'm not giving you my songs. Giving the songs. Why aren't you giving the songs? Why would you Fuck not off. give the songs? I gave you the whole thing. Ian just gave us his. You have to give us yours. Yeah. All right. All right. Go ahead, Dakota. Oh, you want me to go? Okay. Yep. Uh, my top artist, Morgan Wallen. Number two, very surprised this one wasn't on Ian's list. Disappointing. Kai Goat. That's disappointing, Ian. Three, Luke Combs. Four, Lil Baby. Five Jordan Davis, country singer. Fo- country. Foley is in the background. He just said, "Love that." Let's go, Foles. Come on. How many uh, minutes listened? Twenty-four thousand. Oh, I win. Top songs. Right. Uh, song about you. It's a country song. Number two, still going down. Country song. Uh, if you really love me, it's a uh, pop song. Heat waves is number four, and whiskey my way. By Morgan Wallen as well. A lot of country. A lot of country. And yeah. Zach was very disappointed uh, in all that country, but I made him proud by having little baby in my top five. He did. Is that what's is that what's in your headphones when you come to the field and you're uh, not talking to anybody? Uh, that's usually like Kygo or like that type of music. Okay. Uh, and Zach. that doesn't happen. You haven't played mine. Music? My top know. artist were little baby, Drake, Jay Z, Roddy Rich, and Jeezy. Um, my minutes were th- what you that's, say? From, that's what happens when you're from hurley new york no i i just love tough, listening tough to that because spe- i listen to it before games it's kind of like the same songs before games hey you don't gotta explain it to me man you like what you, you know. like um grace songs, by little baby was uh, can i can i speak speak i hey grace by little baby wait on me by Chef G, um, Rags to Riches, and Blindfold, yep. and then Devil is a Lie. Why would minutes? Why were you not wanting to tell us those? Because Ian's looking. Look look how Ian's looking at me right now. I mean, I know that's what you listen to. Like that. I, I know you do. Time. Yeah. No, I know what you do. I just want to know your minutes. That's, I would have guessed um, half of those songs. Right. Correct. Correct. Um, 30,000 minutes was mine. Nice. Uh, I'm a little surprised that there wasn't more. I think if we all had a playlist that we shared, there'd be a lot of Kai going on. We should have had a compound playlist when we were there. By the way, I don't, I texted this in our group and Zach responded and said like, oh my, but I don't know if you guys ever listened to it. But if you haven't listened to Undeniable by Kai Go featuring ex ambassadors. What did I do? I said it's called Undeniable by Kygo. No, and what it, did I say? I texted oh. it to Ian and I said, new Kygo song. And you responded and said like, oh my. But I don't know if that meant you actually listened or you were just giving me a pity response. Like, oh, here you go, buddy. Like, I'm never going no, to listen. No, I think, it, yeah, I think it was a mixture between that and I haven't listened to it yet, but I will as soon as we're done here. I don't believe it. Yes, I will. 
I think it's I'll gonna send be you on a my, Snapchat of me listening to it. I think it's going to be on my 2022 uh, Spotify on uh, Wrapped. We got to get you. We got some Jay Z. No. I just, you know, yes. uh, I I like Jay Z a lot. I'm a big Jay Z guy. I just, it's not going to show up on my Spotify Wrapped. What about Roddy I mean, Rich? We can get back. Dakota. You just heard, Dakota. You just heard his Wrapped. Do you think uh, that he's making it in that group? No, I didn't. I didn't. Well, I, I like the sad female vocals. I just I, I'll admit it. Apparently. Sad female vocals is where I live. But which is so it's so weird to me because you're all about positivity. Why would you have a sad day Sunday? I don't get it. I just got to be sad sometimes, man. It's fair. No, okay to I not like be okay. How do you not like a good female vocal? It's beautiful. I didn't say that, Ian. Can we? I would like to know what our listeners are listening to. And you know what I'd like to say? I really appreciate when this started happening. Everybody that sent us, like Compound is the number one listen podcast. That's that was really cool. I appreciate that. That was cool. Made me feel good on the inside. But if everybody could kind of send us their wrapped, uh, and if anybody's also listening to Olivia Rodrigo and Taylor Swift and Adele, I'd appreciate it. Make me feel and a little bit better. Male. Thanks. If you have to be a male too. <laughs> It's fine. I'm I'm not afraid to admit. And I, I, love I, a good I don't. Female vocal. I'm not making funny. I just thought that. Also, did you guys watch that Adele special with Oprah? Holy shit, that was great. That, that you were you were actually watching that the other night, weren't you? You re, you uh, recorded it. And uh, it. I'd recommend it. Yeah, I was uh, I was watching it, man. I was on it. I'd recommend it. It's fantastic. All right. Um, Anything else you guys want to talk about? Maybe, you know, I don't know where Tom ran away to, but Tom, we were doing a fan questions thing for a minute. Have we got any fan questions before we go real quick? Yes. Tom, do we have any fan questions? We do have some fan questions. This comes from Joe. When did you guys each know that you might be way better than baseball at other people? Is there a moment or game that stands out where you're like, damn, I might make the show? Uh, I don't know if I've told this. I don't, have we answered this before? Maybe, maybe not. Is this the I, fall, wait? Are you going to tell the fall league story? We can get back to the fall league. No, no, that was a good one about the fall league. Uh, my my moment was in the Cape, uh, freshman summer, played in the All Star game, uh, hit a homer lefty and a double righty, same game, DHing. Uh, and that was when I was kind of like. Huh? Yeah, DH is the freshman. Because, you know, when you're a freshman, they don't want you to play the field. They want to showcase the guys who are going to get drafted. So I got to DH, which which also gave me five at-bats, which was cool. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, yeah, hit a, a double righty, homer lefty in the same game. And that was kind of like the, uh, hey, you're good enough to get drafted type of thing. So that was cool. I legitimately don't think I've had that. I've kind of just like, you know, you keep you get moved up from levels here to there, but it's just like again, I was really small growing up. I had one offer. Growing up, and like, what'd you say? Just growing up, like you're you're big now. Yeah, I'm fucking huge. Look at me. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I know. I was just making sure we accentuated that point. Yeah. No. no yeah. Of course. Um, what do you weigh right? I don't now? know. There. Uh huh. What about do you it. weigh right now? Don't we don't we don't need to worry about that. Me or him? You. You. Zach, 180. Hey, Ian, I am about this close to, to signing off with your attitude right now. <laughs> Christ. Um, yeah, so no, I haven't. Dakota, you're up. Forgot my train of thought. I'm just getting yelled at. I'm the same as that. I don't think there was really a point. Like I was redshirted my freshman year of college. Foles, what are we doing? I always thought growing up that I was going to play professional baseball, but I never – had any reason to think that or anything else. I just was always like, oh, that's what I'm going to do. Was there and one I of those times that you had like a three inning save at Michigan State and you were like, I can do this? I, I mean, I had a lot of good outings my last year there, but I never was like, oh, like I'm good enough to go pro now. I was just like, oh, like that was a good job. That was fun. Like I never, I never thought about it in the future like that. I was just like, oh, like right now that was fun. All right. Next question. All right. Sorry, Joe. I tried. Uh, next question from Scott. What's the wildest thing you've ever seen in the stands while in the field during a game? Is this Scotty a Frost fan question of the day? Um, I don't think so. Could be. Uh, Scotty, Scotty, 
Scotty, uh, craziest thing I've seen in the in the stands is uh, at the White Sox place, just people all out fucking brawling. Yep, the stands. that's the craziest thing that I've seen. And it, it always happens later in the game because the outfield there, yeah. I'm sure it's similar to Wrigley, but I feel like Wrigley they're paying more attention to the game, and at the White Sox it's just like a party, which yeah. is an I mean, awesome environment to play in, yeah. but. I mean, usually around the sixth thing, you hear a bunch of screams and nothing is going on during the game. And you're like, oh, what could this be? And there's a fight. There was a moment. I did. I told you when we were at the White Sox this year, I was on deck and some guy had our podcast up on his phone. That's which is pretty cool. There's I don't know a... if he's making fun of us or trying to get in my head or complimenting. I, didn't, I wasn't really there for it. Yeah, there was a moment this year where I was having a bat. I think it was against Kopech. And... Uh... There was legitimately a brawl going on in left center where people were screaming, like, like applauding the brawl and like in the middle of this at bat. And both bullpens were out of the bullpen looking into the outfield, watching this fight like that was happening during an at bat in like a, the eighth inning of a blowout. So, yep. Dakota, anything? Uh, I mean, nothing really crazy has happened. I just had a funny story when Brian Dunsing was on our team and his wife was walking down the whatever you call it, like the path, like towards the bullpen in the stands. And I didn't know who she was at the time. And he stands up and he goes, Oh, look at her. And I was like, Oh yeah, that chick's hot. And I was like about to say something else. And he goes, that's my wife. And he started laughing. I was like, Oh yeah, she's attractive. Like just caught myself. He's like, yeah, I didn't want to let you say anything else. I was like, thank you for that. That thing is the best. But yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's about the only story I got from people in the stands. And Dunsing's wife is fantastic, and they have like four or five kids, and their family is hilarious. Yeah. I remember him, him FaceTiming on the bus, uh, and Dunson and I were we were both on that team together in nineteen. But I remember him FaceTiming on the bus for the plane in AAA or the big leagues, and just it was like his family is just screaming in the background, just like kids are running everywhere. It's hilarious. That thing was awesome. All right, that's uh, that's your fan questions of the day. Brought to you by Dugout Mugs. Just kidding. Dugout Mugs brought to you the Spotify thing. Just kidding. Go buy your Dugout Mugs. Uh, hashtag John Boy code. Dugout Mugs, 30% off. Parse rum is my favorite rum. It's your favorite rum. Do you guys have anything to say about Parse before we go? Rum. Rum. Uh, screen time. Real quick. Screen time brought to you by Connect Roasters. Uh, go get your... You can't plug your own company. Go get That's your gift funny. boxes. Go get your gift boxes at connectgrocers.com. They're a great Christmas gift, okay? They're a great gift. Go get your go get your coffee for Christmas. Give it to Three somebody. hours, nine minutes. Fuck you. 338. Ah, loser. No. 232. Oh, nope. fuck. Hour behind us. 232. Okay. Everybody have a wonderful, uh, wonderful week. We'll see you next week. Everything's great. Parse. Hopefully, hopefully Ian's nicer Trump. next week. Trump.